again it's April here and welcome back to another video. Today I've got a video all about my character Digby which uh, some of you may know. I've been drawing him for a couple of years now I think, <laughs> not sure and uh, I wanted to revisit him this year because I haven't really drawn him for a while. So Digby is a cat character that I created during autumn week last year or the year before, I can't remember and he basically is like my little mascot I guess so I use him for my transition screens on um, my live streams, for the like the tiers on my patron, and whenever I announce something like my shop opening or something, I'll pop, I'll use Digby to do that. So I've drawn him quite a lot over the years. Uh, the first time I drew him was during autumn week. I couldn't find any of the old sketches. I looked through everything but I drew him for autumn week and I basically created him as I was drawing him, like I gave him a personality. So I would use um, the description, like I would, I would write a story about him in the description or I would say things about him and then people would comment on it and I would answer the comments as if I knew about Digby and like his feelings. So I kind of created the character through Instagram, which is kind of fun. And he's, uh, he's evolved since then, so I also used him I used him once for Draw This In Your Style and for like a New Year's uh, and he always, he's kind of like a snooty character, He's he's got some interesting ideas and yeah, I don't know, I just really like him. So I wanted to revisit him this year, use him for some prompts during the month of September and uh, kind of use different materials and see if I could draw him without being so digital because the only times I've ever drawn him before have been on Procreate. So I thought I would show you what I got up to in September and we can look at drawing Digby together. This is the second time I recorded this. The first time I didn't press record so it's about two weeks later. I can't actually remember what we were talking about. <laughs> I think I was going to show you all of my Digby stuff over the years. So I found these sketches here which are of when I was doing my patron tiers. So I wanted to have Digby in different uh, ways. So this is him as an artist. Uh, watching movies on the computer I think that's it so just this one little page and from that I went out and made my patron tier logos I thought this year I would revisit him for autumn week since he was born in autumn week basically I went back and I had only ever really done Digby digitally so I wanted to kind of get a feel of him and do it more traditionally because I've been really getting into traditional media a lot. Well, I never really liked digital. Like, I like digital, but I don't know. I, I like the combination of the two, I guess. So the first thing I did is went through and I sketched out my autumn week sketches just to kind of figure out what he looked like. I wrote down some things that define him. So his eyes are always closed. He's got a little hair curl. He's got round glasses and a pointy chin. And then I kind of went about almost like trying to see if I wanted to redesign him. So I went very roughly with a marker and I did lots of different shapes. So skinny shapes. This is kind of like his basic shape. Um, and then I just scribbled over the top with colored pencil. And then I also tried to do him uh, turn in his head, which is very difficult for me. So I tried to figure out what he would look like turning his head, looking down, looking up. Um, yeah, some of these are like super awkward turn in heads and like directions of things I find quite difficult still so that's definitely a work in progress. So I decided to switch up a little bit and get out the pen because I find that working with a pen kind of just forces you to write you know just draw the first thing and you can't you can't fix it or anything so it's kind of it's a little bit scary, but it's also kind of fun just to doodle. I looked at different shapes, so triangles, circles, to see if I wanted to make his body a different shape. And then I used the marker again, and I tried to draw his body. This is when I was kind of like thinking about redesigning him. Do I want him to be tall? Do I want him to look more like a cat? Do I want him to be short and chubby? So I did these. I kind of ended up liking this one here, which is basically what he looks like. I basically didn't redesign him at all. I just, I just revisited him, I guess. I tried to draw him in different poses. So I used two of the body shapes. This one, which is kind of like the shorter version that he is now. This one, the tall skinny version. And I tried to just draw him in random poses, doing a bit of uh, meditation there, 
laying on the grass. This one here, I don't know what he's doing, <laughs> bending down for something. So yeah, that was pretty fun. So that's when I moved over to this sketchbook and I played with a whole bunch of different mediums. So I have Neo Color with ink pen, colored pencil, paint, acrylic gouache. And I actually ended up using acrylic gouache and colored pencil for most of autumn week, which is cool because when I did Digby originally, I used a color palette based on my acrylic gouache in Procreate. So all the colors kind of mixed together. So this purple here, I use it in uh, Procreate to, to like paint his skin, his fur, I guess. I thought I'd do it in a different uh, kind of pose and see what I liked. So to loosen up a bit before autumn week, I did this kind of uh, just Neo Colors page here. Very loose, very smushy. And I also did one in this sketchbook right here. So I did these two on the same day. So I did it on the two pages, different colors, just to kind of see if I like the Neo Colors. This was actually when I was thinking about doing um, peach toba and I really wanted to use neo colors so I was just I was kind of like already getting into that mindset towards the end of September and then I started the prompts I'm just gonna lay everything over the top of each other <laughs> right now so the prompts some of them I did in this big sketchbook which is the moleskin sketchbook Let's see if I can fit it all on yes the first prompt was from storybook September it was jungle book so first I did some sketches from Jungle Book of Mowgli and Baloo. I really wanted to do the scene where they're in the lake and Mowgli's are sitting on Baloo and they're playing together. So then I drew Digby in different situations that I think would be fun to kind of uh, draw. This one here is kind of like relaxing in a bikini. I really like this one here where he's just laying on his tummy. So I drew the bear together with um, Digby and then I thought it'd be kind of funny if Digby was a lot heavier than Baloo expected. So Baloo's basically like sinking under the water. So that was the final idea I had. And then I drew it out in this big sketchbook here with a uh, colored pencil, acrylic gouache, neo color. And I think I did some of this on stream, I can't remember. And then I took it into Procreate and I added some lighting and some shadow and just tidied it up a little bit. So yeah, that was the first one, uh, Storybook September, Jungle Book. The second one for Storybook September was Sleeping Beauty and I really loved the idea of doing Digby as one of the fairy godmothers or the good fairies, I think they're called. So I chose Meriwether because she basically has the same color. And also there were a couple of scenes in uh, Sleeping Beauty that I really liked. One was where Meriwether was flying and another was where she was really grumpy. Uh, I think, I can't remember what, why she was grumpy in the film, but I thought it'd be funny if Digby was like really grumpy because he had a coffee from Twinkle Beans, which is like Starbucks, and they had spelt his name wrong. They spelt it Dogby instead of Digby. So I thought that would be funny. But in the end, I went with Meriwether flying or Digby flying. And I thought it would be fun if Digby was playing a prank. So he has all the water balloons and he's throwing a water balloon onto his friend, who's also one of the good witches. And his friend is the fox. So the fox hasn't really come up much in Digby's like stories or anything that I've done. But I made this fox about the same time as I made Digby, just as a little illustration. And I really liked him and I kind of thought that they could be in a friendship with each other. And I kind of want to write a story one day where Digby meets the fox and they he doesn't really like him to begin with. It's like a classic, you know, um, like hate at first sight and then they eventually become friends. But that's, 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 that's for the future. So I did this like random background here. I was copying these trees, kind of the style from Sleeping Beauty, but I really didn't like it. So on the next page, I basically just did a background all in pastel. This is when I just got my pastels with a bit of neo color. And then I took this into Procreate and I cut out the 
fairies from the other page, I put them into this background. I drew the castle in the background, I did a few more little bits and pieces like the splashes and I called it a day. That was Sleeping Beauty. One of the other challenges that I did was uh, Wonderful, the Wonderful Challenge and this prompt was Forest Friends. So I thought it would be nice, I really like bird watching and I love birds so I thought it might be funny if Digby was in the forest bird watching and basically the funny part of it is that because Digby can't do anything normally like there always has to be a twist is that all the birds are kind of behind him or on him so he can't see any of them so I did Digby in this kind of circle here and with all the foliage around and then I drew the birds all separately which uh, I did regret in the end. I thought it might be nice to draw them bigger because I knew that I couldn't draw them on here. Like I could have, but I just would have messed it up because they would have been so tiny and I just didn't want to go through that stress. So basically I drew them all massive. And then when I took them into Procreate, I had to scale them down, which made the, and if anyone has used Procreate, you know that scaling anything or rotating it kind of messes up the edges. So all of this blue outline that I'd put on all the birds um, was completely blurry and horrible so I had to eventually in the end I basically redrew the birds about 80% of them so yeah but in the end it worked out I won't do that again I think I'll just draw bigger or I'll draw the birds separately in Procreate afterwards but I really ended up liking this one just because of the forest I kind of like how the trees are and stuff so I think this one is for wonderful, it could also be for autumn week, I kind of got those two mixed up in my head, they're very similar, but this one was pumpkin patch and I didn't, I don't want to do something really simple, so I drew Digby in a field as the scarecrow, but as usual he's not doing a very good job and he's just attracted all the birds to him instead of scaring them away, so he has all his little crow friends on him, some pumpkins on the floor, and this is another one that I did change quite a lot in Procreate where I recolored the background and I didn't like, I just didn't like this yellow background that I did. So that's one cool thing about using digital is that you can change things afterwards. Sometimes I write that I use it as a crutch, like I, like I don't think about what I'm doing traditionally because I think I can just change that in Procreate. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, it gets you from A to B and it doesn't really matter how you get there as long as you arrive at something that you like. So yeah, that was um, Pumpkin Patch and that's the last one in this big fat sketchbook. This is one of my favourite ones I think, well it turned out as one of my favourite ones and it was from... All right, this one was Secret Garden. So I didn't really have any ideas for Secret Garden apart from to make Digby like find the secret door in into the garden. And then I thought, wait, what if something is in the garden? So I like a huge cat eaten plant. So I put uh, Digby in this massive Venus flytrap and then the joke was gonna be like, Digby knew why it was so secret now because basically anyone who entered it got eaten. I think he's just taking a nap, he doesn't mind. I did like this one, a lot of colours which I really enjoy. I changed quite a lot of it in Procreate, like I tidied up his face a bit. I also didn't like these heavy lines that I had drawn around the vines and some of the like just the shadows and the teeth, just basically defining things a little bit more and then also helping to focus on Digby himself rather than having like all the heavy line art around the edges. So yeah, I really like that one, how that one turned out. So this one here is for autumn week, I think, mushroom picking, and I had the idea that Digby basically would not be seen picking his own mushrooms. He gets his mushrooms picked for him, and then he 
is that he selects the very best ones at the supermarket. So the idea was Digby was this is um, a pose that I really don't like. Martin said it looked like he was having a, having a going to the toilet, but <laughs> I basically wanted him to look like he was crouching down and inspecting the mushroom. Uh, I wanted it to be kind of like a simpler one, uh, more of a, like a what are they called spot illustration. So I drew Digby leaning down with all the plants and everything around him. I tidied this up in Procreate again, which I do pretty much every illustration. And yeah, I didn't like the pose at all. I think I may have moved him a little bit in Procreate, but I didn't like draw him standing up at anything. I just kind of kept it like that. It's uh, not my favorite, but I like the idea of it, like the mushroom picking idea. And then the last one, which I didn't do a sketch for, I just drew this right at the end, was I think for either Autumn Week or uh, Wonderful Challenge, I can't remember. And I can't even remember what the prompt is, to be honest. <laughs> was it something to do with Autumn, obviously, but I just drew Digby in a field of Autumn flowers and pumpkins. I wanted to just do something super chill. I can't even remember what this what the prompt is for. But it's, uh, this is as I was getting uh, towards Peachtober and I really wanted to do the uh, Neo Colours so I think I just wanted to practice with Neo Colours and I do really enjoy Neo Colours actually. So that is uh, the end of our drawing Digby. I wanted to revisit the little guy because I hadn't seen him for a while. Um, maybe do a little redesign. It didn't end up as a redone design at all but I did kind of get more comfortable using traditional materials with him. So it is now November, almost, almost halfway through November. So it was a while ago. Uh, will I visit Digby again in the future? Definitely yes, I do love him as a character. I actually had an idea to do like a calendar or something with him. Oh look, right before I go I'll show you this. I even did a paint a pot and I painted Digby on my, my cup, which is really fun. See, isn't he cute? Everyone loves a grumpy cat. So that was the video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing some of the process and revisiting an old friend with me. And uh, I will catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.